Welcome to the Trattenberg system of speed system of basic mathematics. Today what we're going to do is the rule to multiply by 6. Now if you've seen the previous videos, the rule of 6 and this basic method is just like everything else that we've done. If this is your first, uh, first video, I'm going to go through it slowly and step by step and I'll try to cover as many bases so you guys can see where we're going to come up with this uh, system. So the way the Trattenberg system works is it's to eliminate us from remembering our times tables. If you guys remember 8 times 8, we generally learned that 8 times 8 was 48. And we would not know the answer unless we had that answer memorized. Well, what our Trattenberg system is designed is to give us a set of rules that we can consistently use whenever we're multiplying by 6. And we can apply them to small and large numbers. And what happens is the more we're going to use these rules, the faster and faster we'll get. So our rule tells us when multiplying by 6, you're going to take each number, add half of the neighbor, plus 5 if the number was odd. So what we'll do is, if I look at this number 8, I need to add half of the neighbor. The neighbor is the number that's directly next to the right of your number. 8 does not have a neighbor, so therefore I'm going to be adding half of 0, which is 0. So I'll drop down my 8. That is my first answer. Then I take 0, add half of the neighbor, which is 8. Half of 8 is 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. All right? Now, that is for a very simple problem, one digit times one digit. Where this process comes in handy is we're going to be multiplying 6 times larger numbers. So let's go through a couple processes. And what I'll do is I'll quickly kind of go through the certain steps that you guys need to remember. On the Trattenberg system, we remember we'd like to write our answers directly below. It's also helpful to put a zero in your front number to remind us that two is also a neighbor of zero. Now, when putting a zero in front, that doesn't change the value of your number. So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, is just follow the rules. So we're going to start with our first digit, and we're going to say two, add half of the neighbor. Well, there's no neighbor for two, so I can just drop it down. All right, then I'm going to take 4, and it says add half of, half of the number. So 4 plus half of 2 is going to be 1. Half of 2 is 1, plus 4 will be 5. Then I'll take 2, add half of 4, which is 2. So 2 plus 2 gives me 4. Then I take 0 add half of 2 of 1, so 0 plus 1 is 1. So therefore, I've been able to figure out my final answer is 1,452. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at when we're going to have odd numbers. This was pretty easy because of the even numbers. The odd adds in a couple things. One thing, we've got to make sure we add 5 if the number is odd. And the second thing we need to do is when we're taking half of an odd number, since we're adding 5, when we take half of an odd number, we're going to round down. Therefore, if I say, what is half of 5, we need to automatically think it's 2. Not 2.5, but we're going to round down to 2. Because that's going to allow us to add 5 to make this system work. So if I say 152 times 6, first number, when multiplied by 6, we can drop down. right? Because we can't have, add half of the neighbor because there is no neighbor. 5. It is odd, so I need to add 5, which is going to give me 10, plus half of the neighbor, which is 11. I'm sorry, add half of 2, which is 1. 1 plus 10 is 11. Now, when I need to carry a 1, we make a dot. All right? And that's just going to tell us I'm going to carry this dot over. Now, I'm going to speak this very slowly, um, but once we get onto the other videos, I'll show you how exactly I want you to say this out loud. 1 is odd. So I'm going to add 5, which gives us 6. 6 plus half of 5, which is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus my 1 is going to give me uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So therefore, the final answer, oh, i got to put a 0 there. forgot about that. So I put a 0 in front. Remember, put that 0 there. So 0 plus half of 1, which is 0 again. So my final answer is 912. So let's make sure first thing we do is put that 0 so I don't forget that again. And then underline it. So again, let's go ahead and um, work our numbers. Since my 1 is odd, I need to make sure I add 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. I'll bring it down. I take my 4. 
add half of 1, which is half of 1 is 0. So 4, uh, 4 plus 0 is going to be 4. I take my 5. That's odd, so it's going to give me 10. 10 plus half of 4, which is 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Make them a little dot. 8 plus half of 5 is 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus my dot is going to give me 11. Then I say 2 plus half of 8, which is 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6, plus my dot gives me 7. 3, I need it's odd, so I need to make sure I add 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8, plus half of 2 is 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. And then I take 0, 0 plus half of 3, which is 1. So 0 plus uh, 3 is, um, 0 plus half of 3 would 1, so it would be 1. So therefore, my final answer for here is going to, um, it's going to be 1,971,246. So ladies and gentlemen, the rule is very simple. Whatever is, add half of the neighbor and then add 5 if the number was odd. So you just need to follow those systems, and you also need to remember a lot of the other rules that we talked about in the Trantberg system, which I'll continue to go with in the series of videos. Thanks for watching.